Hey guys, Jono here, and today what I want to talk to you about is how you can get that anamorphic film look for your 16x9 footage. <laughs> Most cameras, such as DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, shoot in an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, and that's whether you're shooting in a resolution of 1080p or 4K. It's the most common format that we're used to watching, especially when most of our TVs are in 16 by 9 format, and that's probably where we get most of our video intake from. But CinemaScope is what was created for the movie theatres. It's a much wider aspect ratio than your standard 16 by 9 screen. 235 to 1 is what most films are shot in nowadays and you'll tend to find when you watch it on a 16x9 screen that you'll get black bars appear on the top and the bottom of the frame. This creates somewhat of a special and cinematic feel that you're used to seeing when you watch your favourite movies. Now there are two ways that you can pretty much cheat this anamorphic look to your 16x9 footage and that's what today's episode is all about. At the end of the day, we all want that cinematic looking footage, but to be able to shoot it on a relatively low budget. Letterboxing is probably the most common and easiest way to create that anamorphic look to your 16x9 footage. Simply by using an overlay in your editor, you can place this over the top of your existing footage and it will give you those black bars on the top and bottom of your frame. You can then adjust the vertical position of your footage to your liking and you're good to go. The second method is just as easy as the first and in fact you don't actually need any additional files to be able to create the look this way. So when you first open up Premiere Pro, instead of creating that standard 16x9 timeline, you want to take one of the presets and then alter one value. Head over to the video frame size and change that vertical size. Now as I'm working with 4K UHD footage, I want my width to be 3840 and the height to be 1634. This will then create that perfect 235 to 1 CinemaScope format for your timeline. Now something to note here is that the values will change depending on the resolution of the footage that you're using. Now instead of you having to figure out what values to use, I've listed down below in the description the values needed for the most common resolutions used nowadays by most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. One thing to note when you are looking to shoot footage to convert into anamorphic format is to shoot for the aspect ratio. Now this can take some time to get used to, but most modern cameras and monitors will have the ability to have guides on whilst you're shooting. This will just help you frame up your shot and get a better idea of what your footage is going to look like once it's been converted into that CinemaScope format. It also allows you to make sure that you don't have anything out of frame that's going to be cut off when the footage has been cropped down to the smaller height. Also, a bonus to work in this way is that when you're in post editing your 16x9 footage, it gives you greater flexibility and more creative freedom. You can reposition your footage on the vertical axis to be able to reframe your shot if you didn't quite get it right when you were shooting. Or maybe there's something in the shot at the top or the bottom of the frame that you just want to cut out and you can do that by adjusting the vertical position of the video. This also helps your 16x9 footage get that cinematic feel and look. Plus, it all gets us a little bit closer to achieving that film look that we're all after. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you now know how to convert your 16x9 footage into 235 to 1 anamorphic cinemascope format. I love being able to bring you these tip videos and help grow your filmmaking knowledge. But my name's Jono and I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more and I'll see you guys next week. Music